Hallelujah. Uh, welcome to Faith and Grace Life. This is where we share the good news of God's goodness and the undeserved, unmerited favor that Christ has brought for us to enjoy. Today we are still looking at your first law. We started this um, message the last time. And by the grace of God, we promise to look at the signs that you have left your first love. What are some of the signs that show that you have left your first love? So we'll be looking at this today. My prayer is that the Lord himself will illuminate this word in our hearts. And he will make this word to have impact and transform us. And will make us doers of this word in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What are some of the signs that you have left your first love? When you re remember, we, we, we looked at it, the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5, where our Lord Jesus Christ, having described all the good works, you know, Christ says, I know your work. He saw their good work and everything, but he said in verse 4, Nevertheless, I ask this against you. You have left your first love. So, the church in Ephesus, they were a good church, but something more important was missing, and that is love. And Christ says they have left your first love. Have you left your first love? How do you know? Now, let's look at some of this side. So before we go on, let me first of all remind us again that the love we are talking about is in our heart. It is a heart issue. When we give our life to Jesus, the love of God was poured into our heart by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So departing from your first love starts from your heart. So it's a heart issue. Now, let's start by, first of all, looking at our spiritual life. Let's examine our spiritual life. What are some of the signs you see there that show that we have departed from our first love? One, you don't have a strong desire to spend time with Him. That is with God. You don't have that strong desire. It's no more there. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. Two, you don't have a strong hunger for the word of God. Bible reading is now something to mark up your to-do list. You know, many of us, we have a to-do list. And one of the things we have to do every day is to read the Bible. But now, the hunger is no more there. But you are just reading it for reading's sake. No impact. What about your prayer life? Spending time in prayer is now a burden or duty rather than a delight. You don't delight in praying again. It's a sign that your, your, your love fire is getting cold. Your love is getting, is waxing cold. Your love for God is waxing cold. What about your worship life? Your worship is now formal, very dry, lifeless, merely going through the motions. A lot of Christians are just going through the motions. Hey, when you praise the Lord, they lift their hand unto the Lord, but the heart is not lifted. When you bow down and worship God, the heart is not bowing down. You are just moving the head, moving the hand, you are just moving motion. People are just going and coming. Motion pictures we are seeing. No life, no spiritual life. The fire, the love fire for God is down. Your prayer, your, your, your private prayer and worship is almost non-existent. You can't even do any anything private again in terms of prayer life or just worship God alone. It has become cold and dry. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. You are no more concerned about physical. You are, in fact, you are more concerned. You are more concerned about physical health, well-being, and your comfort. Than about the well-being and the condition of your soul is a sign that you have departed from your first love. You crave physical food while having little appetite for spiritual food. 
Hallelujah. It's a sign that you have departed. You crave human companion more than the relationship with Christ. It's a sign that your love for God is waxing cold. You spend more time and effort on your physical appearance than on cultivating inner spiritual beauty to please Christ. When you look at the number of hours and minutes you spend trying to look beautiful or look handsome, and that you don't even care about the inner beauty, it's a, it's a sign that your spiritual fire or your, your, your love fire is going down. Your act towards Christ is cold and indifferent. No tender. I mean, no, you, are, you are no more, not, not tender as it once was. Not easily moved by the word of God any longer. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. Now, let's look at your service. How about your service to God? Now, you measure spirituality by performance rather than the condition of your heart. Mercy is a sign that your love, fire, is going down. Christianity is not defined by, I mean, what you do than who you are. It's a sign that you have departed. Doing versus being. I said it in the first part. Of this message that we are first of all human being before we become human doing many of us we are only after what we do in our service but we are not really after what we are our being another sign that you have you have, you have departed from your first love is that your obedience and service are motivated and foiled by expectation of others or a desire to impress others more than my your, your passion for Christ. You have now become hypocrites, men pleasers, just to impress people. It's a sign that your, your love fire has gone down. You are more concerned about what other things and pleasing them than about what God knows and pleasing Christ. Your service for Christ and others is motivated by a sense of duty or obligation. You are no more motivated by the love you have for God. But you just see that this is just my duty. If you have de de degenerated to that extent, you need to come back. Let me tell you more. Part of the sign that you have you know, departed from your first love is that you find yourself becoming resentful over the hardships and demand of serving Christ and others. Going to church, if you meet any pain or any hardship, you begin to complain. But before you don't used to complain. You are now very critical or harsh towards those who are doctrinally off base or living in sin. Just like the church in Ephesus. Those church, they are they, they, they are, I mean, doctrinal, they are pure. They, they, they are very holy people. You become very critical. A critical Christian needs, needs to check him or herself. Now, let's look at another area of our life. How do you see the things of this world? Let's see how you, uh, let, let, let's see how you, you enjoy secular song, movies, and books more than songs, or reading material that point you to Christ. You prefer the company of people who don't love Christ to the company and fellowship of those who do. You are more interested in recreation, entertainment, and having fun than in cultivating intimacy with Christ through worship, through prayers, the word, and the Christian fellowship. You would prefer to go to the Cinema than to go and worship God is a sign that you have departed from your first love. How about your reaction to sin? Let's look at this also. When you begin to justify small areas of disobedience or compromise, it's a sign that you have departed. You have been drawn back into sinful habits 
that you put off when you are a young believer is a sign that you have departed from your first love. Little things that you use to disturb your conscience before they no longer do is a sign that you have departed. It doesn't matter. Keep saying it doesn't matter now. Those little things, they don't matter now. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. You are now very slow to respond to conviction over sin. Or you even ignore it all together. You are not, your heart has become very, become seared with thought. And you don't respond. Your conscience no more responds to sinful habits. You know, you don't feel convicted any longer. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. You enjoy certain things, certain sins, and want to hang on to them. You are unwilling to give them up to Christ. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. You are not grieved by sin any longer. It's no longer a big deal to you. Mercy is a sign that you have gradually drifted from your first love. You are now self-righteous. More concerned about sin in others' lives than in your own. You now use the sin in others' lives to justify your own sin full life. It's a sign that you have departed from your first love. You need to repent. You are more concerned about having the right position than the right disposition. Many of us are in the church just looking for position. We want to sit in the highest place like the Pharisees. It's a sign that your love, fire has gone down. God have mercy. Let's look at this last part. What about your attitude towards giving or money? I know many of us will frown at this. But that is another area where we need to test our love for for God. Our attitude towards giving or money. You tend to hold tight to money and things. Rather than being quick to give to meet the needs of others. That is a sign that you have departed from your first love. You really give sacrificially to the Lord's work. Any time the man of God stands in the pulpit and, you know, express the need for the church, it is that time you'll be saying, they have come again. It's a sign that your love fire has gone down. You really have a desire or a body to give. When you hear of legitimate financial needs within the body, your church or even a ministry, it's a sign that your fire is going down. You keep accumulating and maintaining materials, things, consume more time and effort on your part than seeking after and cultivating spiritual riches. Many of us, our wardrobe is filled with materials that we never touched, even in the past five, ten years. Each time we open the wardrobe and we feel delighted. Oh, this place is filled up. You are happy. It's a sign that, look, your life is... Your spiritual fire is going down. You look at your car park, you count the number of cars that are there, and you shake like this. Then look, somebody is suffering, yet it's a sign that your fire is going down. May God have mercy. But I have a good news for you folks. You can be restored back to your first love if you desire to. By the special grace of God, this will be our focus in the next message. That is how to get back on the love track again. My prayer is that every one of us that we have listened, that we have seen all these signs in our life, the Lord will restore you back. My prayer is that this world will have impact in us. I want you to join me in the next part of this message where God will be looking at how God will get us back on the love track. Hallelujah. Christ says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. Hallelujah. Can you just pray this prayer with me? Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. It was your love for me 
that took you to the cross, Karma. Please forgive me. I have left my first love. Come into my life and restore me to your love. My Lord and my Savior, please help me to live a new life that is filled with the love of Jesus Christ. For the rest of my life, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Till I call you the next time, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His way, His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom.